we talked about, um, I don't know, I, I guess reaching out to other people. I don't know, let me start this over. Cut. Oh gosh, I cannot do this. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be saying. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jared D. King here. I had the pleasure of being on the Slick Talk podcast uh, about mm, maybe a week and a half ago, something like that. Um, it was a great experience. Uh, we I sat on a panel with a bunch of other podcasters, uh, black podcasters. It was a Black History Month uh, themed show uh, where we talked about black creatives. So me and a bunch of other black podcasters got together and talked about what that means for us and how we want to inspire other people, good stuff like that. I'm only going to be showing you my answers to the questions, but I implore you to go to the Slick Talk podcast and see the whole thing or listen to the entire uh, conversation uh, wherever you get your podcasts from. Uh, and with that, over to Slick Talk. What's good, everyone? This is Dev the Coolest. And this is JB. And welcome to Slick Talk with a hashtag yes. and friends. Hey! Yes. Hey, we Hashtag we Slick Talk and talk. Friends. It's a great time to have this type of conversation. We celebrate in Black History Month, celebrating Black excellence. Everybody that's on the call right now is Black excellence. The purpose of this conversation um, is to motivate each other. You know, we, we tend to not get as much uh, recognition as we possibly would like as podcasters and creatives. Um, we have a lot of celebrities and influencers that are coming in and, you know, essentially taking over, you know, pers uh, perspective fields like podcasting and, you know, being creative. And we think it's, it's about time that we stepped up and motivated each other and inspired each other to celebrate our greatness and our excellence and, and those that came before us as well. Jared, I know that you have been working and um, producing stuff since what, 2015? Is that when you, around the time you started? How's it Yeah, um, I've been, I don't, I've been doing, I've been doing stuff since I was, uh, since I started writing. So I did a bunch of, uh, I did a series of interviews with um, authors, with other authors in the Black LGBTQ community. Um, and I tried to do some other things on YouTube, but I wasn't really good by myself. And so I knew that I had to get with a couple of people to kind of have a back and forth with in order to actually, you know, kind of, kind of have a good flow on camera or on uh on a podcast or anything like that um so yeah i mean it's been it's been a it's been a, a big growth for me since then um you know it's it's one of those things where you just kind of have to like uh niteria i believe said you just kind of have to go balls to the wall with it and just you know <laughs> not really worry about whether it's going to be the the best thing or uh, whether it's really going to just like, whether the the, the, um, the high quality of it or anything, you just kind of have to go with it and uh, and learn as you go. So that's what I've learned. How do you feel, um, Jared? Like, are you, are you lessening your blackness at all? Have you had to at all in the past? You know, will you moving forward if you reach a certain level of celebrity? Like, let us know. Uh, absolutely not. Um, I've never, I don't think I've had to lessen my blackness. Um, I, I can't think of a, of an instance of me doing that in the past. Um, and, uh, and as of right now, I don't do it. I mean, I think, um, I just, you know, put it out there. I, I just put who I am out there for anybody to see and whatever happens, happens. Um, now, as far as reaching a more diverse audience, I do think that, it may be important to kind of speak to those different audiences. Um, so whether that is topics or something that they're interested in or having somebody on your show who can speak to that audience a little bit more, um, I think that that's important, but at, at, least, to get, at least to get that diverse audience um, a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I just think, you know, you kind of have to put yourself out there and accept the people who accept you. I know that's right. Thank you so much for that input. What kind of impact would you want or do you believe um, has already had uh, for the Black community, your podcast and what you do creatively? 
uh, you know, I really started Boys and Brunch as a way to, uh, I don't I guess, I guess, I don't want, I don't want to say distract, but uh, I, I don't know what the word is, but you get what I'm trying to say. I want to get away from the craziness that's going on. I started this Boys and Brunch last year, 2020. So everybody already knows, you know, we, we got we got to do something else than sit in misery all day. Um, so that's why I started. And that's what I think the impact has been so far. You know, I've gotten um, a lot of people, you know, live chatting with us. And um, it's been it's been fun. And we've kind of grown a little bit of a, of a community. And that is kind of the lasting impact that I want to have. I really want to build a community. I call them the Gorgeois. So that's gorgeous plus bougie. So so, you know, and, and if y'all get my vibe, you know, I'm a little bit of both. So, <laughs> I so know yeah, right. so we're the Courgeois and I, you know, so I, anybody else out there listening that wants to join us can join us. But yeah, um, that's, that's the impact I want to have. I want to get people together, get people uh, who, who may have felt like they can't really find that community um, or feel maybe out of step. Some, somewhat or socially or whatever. And I want to build a space for them that's positive and is joyful. Absolutely. And I appreciate that. And, you know, from our interactions on social media, like I've gotten that from you. I feel like you've been a joyful person, you know, very entertaining. And I'm so glad that you joined this call because, you know, we're getting to know you and we're getting to know each other. You can find me at Jared D. King just about everywhere. Uh, I think the only exception is YouTube, which is just Jared King. But, you know, search Boys and Brunch, search Jared D. King, you'll find it. Um, and the advice that I would give to uh, everybody out there or the, or the uh, positive words that I want to leave with everybody is um, we're, we're going through a rough time now, but we're almost through it. So, you know, just <laughs> just grit your teeth and let's let's just let's just hang in there for a little bit we're going it's going to get a little bit better soon